In the previous video, we discussed the formula for solving a hydraulic jack problem. Now let's take a look at an example. If the cross-sectional areas of the piston in this jack are 3 square inches and 75 square inches, how much force can you lift if you apply 15 pounds of input force? Again, remember force in divided by area in equals force out divided by area out. The input piston's force is 15 pounds and the area of the input piston is 3 square inches. We are trying to find the force out, but we know the area out is 75 square inches. We can multiply the two numbers we have on the diagonal. 15 pounds multiplied by 75 square inches, and then divide by what we have left over, which in this case is 3 square inches. This tells us that the output force is 375 pounds. An output force of 375 pounds makes sense since the larger the area of the piston, the larger the force applied. Now we want to find out how much force would it take to lift a 2,500 pound car with the same jack. Again, force in divided by area in equals force out divided by area out. This time we are solving for the force in but we know the area in is still 3 square inches. The output force this time is 2,500 pounds, since that is the force we want to lift with this jack. The output area is still 75 square inches. Cross multiplying on the diagonal, we will multiply 2,500 pounds by 3 square inches and divide by the 75 square inches that we have left over. This will give us an input force of 100 pounds. Again, this makes sense because the input area is smaller, so the input force should also be smaller. The last part of this question asks us to figure out how much this jack multiplies the input force. We are essentially finding the mechanical advantage of the jack, which we discussed in Unit 5 on Simple Machines. Remember, mechanical advantage is equal to the area out divided by the area in. Or you could use the force out divided by the force in. The area out is 75 square inches and the area in is 3 square inches. This gives us a mechanical advantage of 25. Remember, mechanical advantage does not have any units because the units of square inches cancels each other out. This concludes our discussion on pressure and hydraulic jacks.